Welcome back to the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast, where we cut through the myths of health, fitness, and wellness to give you the truth about your body's incredible potential to heal. Have you, have you ever heard someone say that once the heart is damaged, it can never fully recover? Well, what if I told you that that's not entirely true? <laughs> your heart, like many other organs, has the amazing ability to regenerate, yes, even as you age. And here's the exciting part. Fitness is the key to unlocking the healing potential. Today, we're diving into groundbreaking research on how your heart regenerates and why exercise is the ultimate tool to help it stay strong. We'll explore how activities like running, strength training, and even yoga contribute to heart health and we'll break down the studies that prove it's never too late to start. Curious about how you can give your heart the care it needs at any age? Stick around. We've got a wealth of information coming your way today on the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast. Hello, I'm Garrett Williamson. Welcome back to the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast. I'm your host, President of Personal Edge Fitness, and today... We're going to dispel a major myth about heart health, specifically the idea that your heart can't heal once it's damaged. Science has proven that that's just not true. <laughs> In fact, your heart, like the rest of your body, has the incredible ability to regenerate through your life, and we're going to talk about how fitness is the secret weapon that keeps your heart young and strong. Now, before we jump into this fascinating research and practical tips on heart regeneration, I want to remind you that if you have any questions about today's episode or any questions about how health, fitness, and wellness, anything you need to know about in that area, feel free to reach out. You can contact us at Personal Edge Fitness by calling 251 Two seven eight three three four three or two five one two seven eight edge. You can always email me directly at Garrett at personaledgefitness.com or visit our website at personaledgefitness.com. Now we're also on social media. Find us on Twitter or X at Team PE and on Facebook at Personal Edge Fitness. I'd I'd love to hear from you. Okay, let's get into it. Now, this podcast, like my others that I've done recently, is a part of a series all about the body's amazing ability to heal itself, no matter your age. And today's focus, obviously, is on the heart. I want you to stay tuned because this is going to be a long series. I'm going to talk a lot about the human body and its ability to regenerate. But I thought we'd start at the heart <laughs> of the matter. By dispelling the myth, can the heart regenerate? Now let's start by clearing up the biggest misconceptions about heart health. For years, people thought the heart was like an old car. Once it started to break down, you could patch it up, but it would never run like new again. And if you've had a heart attack, the damage was considered permanent. Well, here's the good news. <laughs> that's, that's just not true. Recent research has shown that the heart can regenerate and does so throughout your life. Studies from as early as 2009, published in the journal Science, revealed that the heart cells, known as cardiomyocytes, myocytes, excuse me, are capable of renewing themselves. This renewal process happens slowly. About 1% of the heart cells regenerate every year in young adults, and about half a percent in older adults. But it happens. Now, we covered something similar to this in some uh, my podcast about the mitochondria. Of course, the cells in the heart have mitochondria on them. So a lot of this should sound familiar. I have mitochondria in them, I should say. And so this should sound very familiar. Now, 1% may not sound like much, but it, it, it's, a, it's a real game changer. When we consider that exercise can boost this process, and that's what we're diving into today, how fitness can speed up heart regeneration and keep your ticker in top shape, as always, at any age. Let's get into the science of uh, regeneration. 
Let's talk about how fitness plays into this regeneration process. Studies show that aerobic exercise like running or swimming, which is what we refer to typically as cardiovascular exercise, actually stimulates the production of something called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, for the short. VEGF explains, helps to create new blood cells, uh, a process known as angiogenesis. And why is that important? Well, think of your heart's blood vessels like roads in a city. The more roads you have, the easier it is for traffic to flow. The more blood vessels you have, the easier it is for oxygen-rich blood to get where it needs and help your heart function more efficiently. But it's not just aerobic exercise that's key. For a long time, that's what we thought. We thought aerobic exercise was key. That's what we all need to do for heart. But strength training, yoga, and even high-intensity interval training, or HIT, all contribute to heart health. Strength training improves your muscles' ability to support the heart, reducing the strain on your cardiovascular system. Meanwhile, yoga reduces stress, which we know is a huge factor in heart health. One study from the Journal of Applied Physiology showed that resistance training could improve heart function by making the heart pump more efficiently. And in a study published in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research, people who regularly practice yoga had better heart variability, a marker of heart health, than those who didn't. Now, how does fitness keep your heart young? All right. How do we use fitness for this? To regenerate those precious heart cells? Well, let's break it down by activity. Aerobic exercise. We should aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise a week. Now, that could be, that could be walking, cycling, swimming, rowing, whatever, whatever gets your heart pumping. Studies show that aerobic exercise stimulates the growth of new blood vessels and increases the turnover of heart cells. For resistance training, lifting weights or doing body weight exercises at least twice a week, I actually say three, can strengthen the muscles surrounding your heart, reducing the heart's workload. Think of it like uh, giving your heart a little team of helpers to ease the strain. Now, I've talked a lot recently about high-intensity interval training and how we are finding that actually that is highly beneficial. But HIIT training or short bursts of high-intensity activity followed by recovery periods can improve both aerobic and anaerobic fitness. A study in the European Heart Journal found that people who do HIIT had a significant improvement in cardiovascular health markers compared to those who did only moderate intensity exercise. Now, what about yoga and flexibility training? Don't underestimate the power of stress reduction. Now, it's indirectly affects, but yoga helps lower blood pressure and promotes better heart rate variability, which, which keeps your heart healthy and resilient. Let's look at some, some real-life success stories. I love good real-life examples. So let me share a couple of inspiring stories about people who use fitness to transform their heart health. Take Jane, for instance, a 65-year-old who had suffered from heart disease for over a decade. She started a fitness routine that included swimming, resistance training, and yoga. Over time, not only did she feel stronger and more energized, but scans showed that her heart had actually formed new blood vessels. Her heart was, was literally rebuilding itself. Now, I've got another example. Uh, John, he's a 45-year-old recovering from a heart attack at 45. He incorporated, of all things, now he had a heart attack, but he, he incorporated HIT and strength training into his rehab and within six months saw a 15% improvement in his cardio, cardiac output. Now, th this, is, this is a 15% improvement in six months' time. His doctor was actually stunned by how much his heart had recovered, and John himself obviously felt much better. Now, these stories aren't just exceptions. They're, they're, they're proof that fitness can help the heart regenerate and recover. 
even after significant damage. We have multiple examples of this. And here's the best part. You don't have to be a professional athlete to see these benefits. Whether you're 25 or 75, 85, 90, getting started with even a modest fitness routine can make an, a world of difference. So what can you do today? How can you start improving your heart's regenerative ability right now? Well, here's a, this isn't all of them, but it's a quick rundown of recommendations. Typically, it's easy to do this. So we'll start with aerobic exercise, walk, swim, cycle for at least 30 minutes. Start off with 20 if you need to, and then move up to 30. Five days a week. Believe me, your heart will thank you for it. You'll sleep better. You'll feel better. Your energy level will be higher. Then add in resistance training at least twice a week. Lift some weights or do body weight exercises like squats and, and push-ups, things like this. And I highly recommend working with the professionals, sort of like those at Personalized Fitness. But try HIT. If you're feeling adventurous, throw in some short, intense intervals into your workout. It's great for boosting both heart and overall fitness. And don't forget stress reduction. Incorporate yoga, meditation, or just even a, just a deep breathing exercises some, to lower stress. Some good stretching and help your heart heal. The bottom line is that your heart is an incredibly resilient organ. Like I've proven several times in podcasts, like the rest of your body. And it has the power to regenerate at any age. And fitness is the key to unlocking that potential, whether it's aerobic exercise, strength training, or even the stress-reducing practices like yoga, stretching, flexibility, med meditation. These are countless, way countless ways to keep your heart young, strong, and always regenerating at any age. Remember, remember, if you have any questions about today's episode or about anything related to health, fitness, or wellness, don't hesitate to reach out. You can contact me directly at Garrett at PersonalEdgeFitness.com or visit us online at PersonalEdgeFitness.com. Give us a call at 251-278-3343 or 251-278-EDGE. And don't forget to follow us on X or Twitter at Team PE and on Facebook at Personal Edge Fitness. Thank you for tuning in to the Personal Edge Fitness Podcast. I hope you've learned a thing or two about how fitness can help your heart stay young and healthy. More importantly, I hope you're starting to learn and understand that the body can stay that way for life. It's the same practice that we're using for the heart. And it's never too late to start. Your heart is capable of more than you think. So get out there, get moving, and give your heart the care it deserves. After all, staying fit is just one more way. We help you reach your level of wellness. Thank you so much for joining me today. Look forward to seeing you next time.